Uh, yes guys, my name is Hagan Klus, I'm an English teacher and today we are going to deal with uh, test 3 and it's about plans and Nick and Lucas we have are joining the party tonight and I have to finish my project work. Yes, and what is Lucas' answer? And I'm sorry I can't, I have to finish my project work. Reasonable. I don't love parties very much. No. Of course, we, where will we meet? No. Nelly doesn't organize parties well. Irrelevant. I don't like some people in the classroom and this is... I'm sorry, I can't. Are you joining the party tonight? I'm sorry, I can't. I have to finish my project work. And uh, while you are doing this, please uh, repeat the sentences once or two times. And try to understand that uh, these are uh, making sense or not. Are you joining the party tonight? I'm sorry, I can't. I have to finish my project work. Okay. And it's reasonable. Uh, what about two? And yes, Kevin asked a question. Neil says that. Sorry, Neil says that at a cafe. Why are you going? Where are you going to stay? Where are you going to stay at a cafe? Why, why are you going to go there? No, when? No, how long? No, who? No. And it's about a place and we have where and where is about place. Where are you from? I'm from Istanbul. Okay, like that. And it's so easy, by the way. Tom and Isabel for two hours and we have blank. And what about our question? Yes, let's find out. Where are you going to stay for two hours? No, it's about time. We should ask the question for two hours. It means a period. Okay, we should use what? How long? Okay, where are you going to stay? No, why are you? No, when? No, how long? Yes. How long are you going to stay here? Stay there for two hours. Okay, guys. It's so easy, by the way. Yes, Matteo and Nicholas. Because I strongly believe that studying abroad is a great chance for me. And we have blank in here. Yes, what about our question? Let's find out the question. And. Who are you going to go there with? No. How long are you going to stay there? No. When are you going to go there? No. Why are you going to go there? Because. Question. Reason. Okay. And it is because I strongly believe that studying abroad is a great chance for me. Yes. We found that. And what about five? Diego, William, what is Sam like? He is a very helpful and generous man. And I think, and it's a comment by the way, and I think he will see a doctor in the afternoon. No, nearly 40 doctors uh, for the new hospital. No, he is going to be a successful doctor one day. No, hospitals are now cleaner and comfortable. No. He will build a hospital for the poor in the future. He thinks. I mean, it's a prediction. And, as you see, we use will. Will is about what? Prediction. Okay. Prediction about future. But we don't know. By the way. And, six. Yes. Thomas, Daniel, why are you going to going to the supermarket and we need an answer a suitable answer that fits with question yes i'm going fry them for dinner no potatoes are very rich in potassium no these potatoes come from india no i'm going to clean the house with them i'm going to buy some potatoes to cook why are you going to the supermarket? Because I'm going to I'm going to buy some potatoes to cook. 
and eat after that. Donald, George, where is the key of the car? On the table, why are you asking? Yes, the question. And Donald answers like, But I'm going to drive your sister to school. Reasonable, you should be here, sit belt. No, why are you asking? The keys. Alan is going to help your sister with her homework. No, your sister is going to play in the garden with her friend. No, our car runs with electricity, so it's friendly with nature. No, but it is A. Yes, very well. What about eight? Yes, Emily, Rachel, Emily, you got the highest highest mark in the exam. Rachel, really? How did you learn it? Emily said that I talked to Mr. Bentley. And what is our answer? Suitable answer. Sorry. Yes. What is our suitable option? And let's find out how far. No. Congratulations. You got the highest mark in the exam. Yes. It's like a reward. And yes. This one. I don't blame you. No. What about you? No. It's my pleasure. No. And this is B. And let's come to the line. David, Leon, Mike always drives me crazy. I really don't like him. And he's just a funny person. And he mm, explains the situation, I think. And yes, fine with me. No, all, all is the same. No, you are very funny. I disagree with you. Yes. And explains. He's just a funny person. He always doing this. No. This one. It's very easy. Lorena and Colin. Did you hear that 100 people died in the earthquake last night? Oh, what a terrible situation, by the way. And... What's up? Mm. No. How horrible. Yes, how horrible. Uh, yeah, yes, guys, really. Uh, 100 people died in the earthquake last night. You, you have to say that. How horrible. That's great. No, people died. How can it be? Guess what? No, we don't. We know that. Sounds fantastic. No, and it is. How horrible. And 11. Jack, I'm free tonight. Matt says. I'm not. I must prepare a presentation for the English class tomorrow. And yes, what is our answer? What a how about you? Yes, I'm free tonight and how about you? Okay. Uh, what is your plan? What's the point? No, you are welcome. No, how horrible that is. No, you must be kidding. No, and this is A. And let's come to the final question. Yes. Uh, Sammy asks a question but the boss answered like it is going to represent the development and the new area era for our company yes what what will you choose to represent our new concepts no why are we going to hire new people no why are you going to share your ideas with your with our partners no where is it going to take place no why are we going to use this visual concept it's going to represent the development and the new area uh, era for our company. The answer and the question fits. And this is option E. And this is the end of our third session and third test. And thank you for watching and listening. Goodbye.